Neem, congratulations on the win, man. Uh, talk to me about that performance going out there and, and beating a legend like John Fitch, somebody you grew up watching in, in his final fight. Um, I think this is one of the biggest wins of my career. You know, John Fitch is one of the best welterweights of all time. If you like it or not, he is, you know. He beat everybody, that, uh, every welterweight you can imagine. He only lost to, to champions, you know, so... He's a really tough guy. The first submission, uh, the first submission that I had on him, his knee pop, he screamed and he didn't tap out. Second submission that was very close, he defended well. So it was a great fight. I'm really happy. It's been a year I don't fight, you know. So it took me a little while to get in fight mode, but I'm very happy. Talk to me uh, about the respect that you have for John and being able to share that moment with him. You gave him the microphone first. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? How can you not respect a guy like John Fitch, you know? How many fights he has? 40, almost 50. So the guy is one of the best ever, man. And uh, I'm a huge fan. And I asked him to come to New York, train with, with us, and teach me a couple of things because I have a lot to learn from him. With that win, I mean, where do you think it puts you in the division? Do you feel like you're right at the top? Like, you know, do you think a title shot could come or do you think you have to fight again? In my opinion, he's, he was the number one contender, you know. He had a, a draw against the other champion, which he should have won. So that puts me in number one uh, spot for sure. If the belt is not the next fight, then I fight anyone that is at the top, you know. Name that we've talked about in the past, you use Eric B and Rockham and you won. And the last time you to didn't it. use it, you used it today. Can we officially say Eric B and Rockham don't sweat the technique from now on? Hey, we talked about this before. Yeah. And uh, I thought about it and I said, man, that's that's my gem, you know. So and every time I get with that, I come in like like jumping and uh, right in the mood to do it. So Eric B and Rakim don't sweat the technique, it's it's what's up. He talked about that Gracie's and MMA have that weakness and that they can't transition and stuff like that. And we talked about that you wanted to do more like what Damian Mayan did and work even more in the wrestling and trying to become that hybrid. Do you think you showed not only Bellator, just the entire industry, where Gracie MMA is in terms of blending not just jiu-jitsu, but all around grappling? I think I'm the one in my family that's been showing that for years, you know? So it's, uh, I can do everything. I can strike, I can take down. And uh, I'm really happy with my performance, man. And I can't wait for my next fight. I want to fight again soon. I want to fight this year. So everybody at Bellator, please get me uh, uh, the next fight soon. So Lima is fighting uh, next month. Maybe we can do it in December, you know? If he comes down, if he comes back down to, to Waterway. Congratulations on the win, Nima. Um, I gotta ask, it looked like it was both a heel hook and a knee bar. Was it a, kind of like a little bit of both? Or could it look like you, you were going for it was a knee bar as well, or was it a full on heel hook? It's a hybrid move, you know? Like I said, uh, Professor John Donaher was one of my head coaches together with my master uh, Hansel Gracie and Jamie Crowder. But this time, Professor John Donaher took care of my camp. So. If you want to learn that move, buy his DVD. <laughs> for real, you guys are laughing. I'm, I'm uh, serious. For, uh, we're training with Danaher was uh, just, since there's always been this talk that, like, that the traditional Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, people don't use leg locks. We heard Vinny Madhouse said that he doesn't believe that leg locks, locks work. So, what was it like going into this, uh, I guess, this, this new type of Jiu Jitsu and learning this type, these types of submission moves? It's not new for me. I've been training with Professor John for over 10 years now, you know, so it's not a new thing for me. Master Hansel Gracie has been showing me these moves for years too. So our school in New York is known for having the best leg lock game in the world, you know. So I just took take advantage of that, but uh, I do everything. It's not only leg locks, I can do it all. Thank you, guys. Yes. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, right before the uh, submission, it looks like you guys were talking back and forth. What was uh, what was John Fitch saying to you right before the submission? I was uh, trying to finish him, and he tried to, go to to get me with a punch from there. 
And as soon as he threw the punch, I took my face off and his glove passed right here. Then I said, oh, that was close. And he said, I'm going to get the next one. It looks crazy. I'm going to get the next one. Then I said, you don't got to shoot. And boom, then I hit him. Then I went to the leg and, and finished him. You know, it was very uh, funny. He's a veteran. For him being there, it's like a walk in the park. So as soon as he stepped in the cage, he was already laughing, talking to me. I was like, well, this guy, it's, he's comfortable in here, you know? All right. Thanks, Stephen. Congrats. Thank you, guys. Obrigado.